All right, in this video, I'm going to do problem 18.9. So in this problem, we have two parts, part A and part B. So in part A, it mentioned that we need to find the reluctance of a magnetic circuit if a magnetic flux phi, so they gave us phi, which is equal to 4.2 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 Weber is established by an impressed MMF of 400 ampere turns. So the MMF is given by 400 amp turns. So we need to find the reluctance here. So this is easy because we know that in, um, so you remember the Ohm's law in circuits, in electrical circuits, V is equal to Ri, right? Now here that we are in electromagnetic systems, we have the analogous of the Ohm's law, which is F, the MMF, is equal to phi, the flux multiplied by the reluctance, okay? This is analogous to the Ohm's law because Ohm's law is for electrical circuits, but this is magnetic circuit. So this F is MMF, phi is flux, and this R is the reluctance. Okay, so from here, what we have is reluctance is equal to the MMF over phi, and that is 400 over 4.2 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4, and that would give us 9.52 multiplied by 10 to the 5, and then the unit is amp turns over Weber. Okay? Now, part B, it is saying that find the magnetizing force H in SI units if the magnetic circuit is 6 inch long. Okay? So, what do I have to do? Let me um, go to part B. Okay, so right now what we have is the length of the magnetic circuit. Okay, so L is equal to 6 inch long. Okay. Now here it mentioned that we need to find the magnetizing force H in SI units. Okay, so H should be in SI. It means that... <clears throat> we need to convert the inch to meter, right? So this is equal to six multiplied by 0 0.0254 meter, okay? Now, in the exam, if you need to have these conversions like this one, for example, inch to meter, I'm gonna give the conversion um, coefficient to you, okay? So don't, um, don't worry about that. Now what I need to find is H, which is F over the length, okay? And that is equal to, what was my F was 400 over 6 multiplied by 0 0.0254. And that is giving me 2625 amp turns per meter. Okay, so this is in SI. Don't forget about that. Okay, so again, the conversion unit will be given to you if you need to convert inch to meter or meter to inch, but you need to know how to convert centimeter to meter or millimeter to meter, okay? These are your responsibility to know, but for example, from inch to meter, uh, I'm gonna tell you how to find them. All right, just to make sure that you understand why we have H equal to the MMF over L. If you remember before, when, when I was talking in um, chapter 18, the Ampere's Law, from Ampere's Law, we know that B is equal to mu 
multiplied by h, right? So b is equal to that, and the other thing that we had was b is also equal to mu n i over l. When I was talking about the circular coil, if you remember, we had this b, okay? So when I equate these two, what am I going to get? I'm going to get mu multiplied by h is equal to mu multiplied by n multiplied by i over l, okay? Now, mu will be canceled with this mu, and then my ni is equal to the MMF. So from here, we have h is equal to um, the MMF over 